Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Fabric 3. Today we are going to carry on with modern industrialization and do some high pressure stuff. So let's get started. Well, I have some stuff prepared already. So let's, let's get started with this. So this one here will make a large steam turbine. This is what this is what this will allow us to um, use high pressure and actually will allow us to use both high pressure steam and steam. In fact, we're going to use standard steam with this one, uh, but it's a multi-block. So let's have a look at the, uh, the uses of them. This one, because we can then make, make them up. Sorry. So we need st 18 stainless steel pipe machine casings and 17 clean stainless steel uh, machine casings with the turbine. Now I've got those already prepared because they take quite a lot of resources. Something in the order of um, probably around about six or eight hundred, um, yeah, six or eight hundred ingots of uh, stainless steel. So the next machine I want to make is this one. It's the high pressure large steam boiler. So we're going to make that one again. This is a multi-block. Let's have a look at this. I'll put it up here. In fact, the uses of the high pressure. So we can also make the high pressure advanced large steam boiler. And it's, this one is also a multi-block and we require two stainless steel pipe machine casings, nine heat proof machine casings, 24 clean stainless steel machine casings plus the boiler. So let's get those out. I forgot those prepared as well. So I'm going to I'll keep those separate so we have a bit of a chance of knowing which one's which. I know that the heat proof, like all boilers go on the bottom row. So that means it's a three by three structure. These these things are for later on. We won't bother with doing that today. But we will bother with this one, which is the turbo machine casings. We've done this already before, I do remember. Uh, and then we can just simply put these into the into this recipe which will produce turbo machine holes and we've done that one before because we used to make the distillery for doing that one um there is one thing i might want yes we'll do that anyway so if i take one of these turbo machine holes and put it into this recipe so this recipe is four titanium large plates and four chrome large plates which basically means 32 of each of those 16 of each of those sorry but, uh, but titanium in modern industrialization is really quite tough and that produces a highly advanced machine casing which is the top kick which is the top tier casing in the pack in the for this mod and then we put it in here with a, a processing unit two cadmium batteries three anneal copper cables and that will produce a highly advanced machine hook uh, I'm not going to do anything with those just yet. What I will do is I'll actually put them into the next two recipes, which we're going to look at next time. So we need one of these uh, turbo machine holes in here, and that and that recipe would then produce a turbo a turbo diesel generator, and the other one in here, which we haven't got the other bits for because they're all pumps and things, is where this highly advanced machine kit hole goes into. But that will produce a large diesel engine. So those are the recipes for that. Um, I don't want to make that today because I would like. To this build is going to take a long time, at the very least. And at the moment, I'm making some um, more turbo machine holes here. Because we probably need quite a few. So let's get started with this build. I also need to have the stuff that we've done before. So we need to make the pressurizer. And we also, which we've done, and I've knocked it down already. And we also need to make the heat exchanger. So what I'm going to do is here is this is the large steam boiler uh, at the moment it's actually in use it'll be making some steam for us because the it's making those machines but so we'll, we'll leave this to last and here i'm going to put the heat exchanger so i'll just dig up this um <laughs> well i've used um, glowstone as a marker for the for the build i want to do today so let's just dig up that lot uh you'll notice i've got an access tunnel down underneath here so let's just put this down i'm pretty sure with most of these things and this will be the heat exchanger so i've got the heat exchanger already made from previous episode and that'll be in here um what color is it pressurizer no i want the heat exchanger oh maybe it's not i maybe have not picked it up yet um i've got a feeling it's in this chest over here or the shulker box over here indeed it is so that requires one heat exchanger uh nine frost proof curvetings 26 stainless steel machine uh 
pipe casings and nine heat proof casings and what this does is it basically converts uh, high pressure steam into steam it might sound strange and it is a sort of a bit strange so we need to put this down here and make sure there was actually five but it's actually five long so this is where i would like to put it so underneath i know where the first block is going to be it's, it's going to be one of these stainless steel pipe machine casings because it's sort of got lots of them and as usual these these large multi-blocks the main block usually goes one block above that we'll just put it down anyway i could just check it but i have actually built constructed this thing for testing purposes anyway so you can see what it requires so we have a row we have basically nine of each and all the rest of these um heat proof casings and frost proof casings we have nine of each and then it can take a tank now let's just check the tanks because that's sort of important before we do anything in here uh we need a well basic fluid input and output hatches is what we need i've got bronze fluid output hatch and i've got a put that up here and a bronze fluid input hatch like that so one of them is going to take water uh, high no high pressure steam and then it's going to produce steam at a ratio of probably around about eight to one so this is the fluid input hatch which is fine so that will go here so we're going to build the boiler here and um, the high pressure boiler here and then that's going to feed into this and then the output of this is going to come here is this an output hatch no that's the input hatch so the output will come on this side here like that so we can actually put that one down now and then we can assemble the rest of the blocks i'll, I'll probably do that let's just assemble them quickly it's fairly straightforward it doesn't take too long and then we need to go up that like shape invalid of course we need to do it like this and then we need to come down one here on each side of this it needs to go up at least that like this i think it's a three by four it's five by three i think we'll see by the number of blocks we've got left we've got too many we need to put them in yes oh no i need to put them in here don't i i'll have one extra because i put in them yeah that's fine that's perfect you've obviously got one extra because i put in the the output port let's just come along here and put in the input one the fluid input port would go here but it's going to go on this side here like this oh i'm gonna break that like that so now let's get the wrench back again to our hand and see which side it is so this side takes the, the frost um, proof coatings the frost proof machine casing sorry so let's just put those down fairly straightforward and the other side requires the heat proof um, casings And that's it this is then ready i think it says yep shape is valid status is idle so now we are going to build here um we're going to build the high pressure steam boiler what this is for is i'm going to move this advanced or no this large steam boiler and i'm going to put it here and here we're going to put the new one which we're going which, which we've just made so let's just break this well actually well, i won't break this block just yet let's just take the um large steam turbine large high pressure boiler okay let's take this one and put this down here um which way does it want to go i think i might need to do it this way around so the, the stuff comes out the back let's have a look uh we can check here you'll see we'll get these highlighted now which is wrong so we can break these up the glowstone blocks like that and then we can come along here and just have a look what i want to do is i would like to get the fluid output hatch in the right place so it's going to it's going to come along into here so hopefully i can put it on this block but with these ones they always go on the bottom row don't they so let's just have a look um i need an output hatch let's just get one out of the bag shulker box and it really doesn't matter which one I've, i'm going to use because we're talking high pressure I might need to use a bronze input fluid hatch well, that'll do for one let's have a look where that goes 
So that goes anywhere on the bottom row, fantastic. So we're going to get pressure coming out of here. So we'll put this one down here like that. And the next one we want is the output hatch. Um, yes, we need an output fluid hatch for the steam. And we also need an item hatch, of course, but we can do that later on. There's no big deal with that one. So now we need, a, that's an input hatch and an output hatch. We'll just convert this one to a, an output hatch. So that we can find out where this goes now. So it can go anywhere here. So we want to put this into this one. So I suppose the best place to put it is down here like that. Right, good. So now just to finish off the assembly of this, it's pretty straightforward. So we need these, we'll put down seven blocks down here. We'll obviously need uh, another block for, for fuel. And I might put it here. And yeah, that's a good place. If we put an item block here, we can do that because then we can put one chest between the two and it can ten then take the fuel out of both chests because this will be where the other steam boiler goes. So let's just break this one. Let's just break this one off. Come up here, get the steam boiler. We want an input hatch of some description. I just think a bronze one will be fine. I want one of those. So we can put this down here here like this and then that's that ready so we just need to now finish it off with the, with the casings so let's have a look is there anything special in this stand up here yes you've got two machine casings in the middle here just this one two and all the rest of these are clean uh, stainless steel machine casings so we've got this particular recipe I've actually just got four because I think I think the two got joined together so that should go there and go on one on top of it and the rest of the blocks will be machine clean machine casings got 24 and you probably go up one level as well I think let's say it was ready it does actually say it sort of looks like it's ready, doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure we need another row on top here. Yeah, it hasn't formed, so you can see it hasn't, uh, it's not ready. So let's just put these nine block last one on top of here like this. It should be a big deal. Now it's formed. You see all, the, all of those are now converted to heat proof block machine casings. So that's that done. It's night time. I'll have a quick sleep and be back in a second. Okay, so this is where the um, pressurizer is going to go. And that's going to be bringing fluid out. I think you have to put it in the top and it comes out the bottom. So we should be able to come along here. What have I got in here? Fluid input hatch, perfect. So I think all we need to do that, just, yeah, that should do fine. So let's get this ready. I need the um, materials for that. And I haven't got those there. Are they in the back? The pressurizer, yes. Needs titanium machine casings and titanium casings, and it will also need some hatches. So the one, that, let's have a look at the. So let's put this down somewhere. Let's have a think. Um, if I make it go this way, let's put the let's put the the front of it is here, that's, which is, seems to be the normal thing. We already know this goes up one because we've we've done this already. So we can simply then break the glowstone markers. Like that you'll also notice I've got a pipe coming up here so that is for an input so that's an MV input so that's we've probably got an MV input hatch in somewhere so look at that one because of course it needs power this particular machine not in there so it'll be in here so an MV energy input hatch is what we need oh silly where did that go to oh we got to so we need to put this down here because the pressurizer does need power and it's actually uses quite a lot of power too so a diesel generator is what i'm going to put here so that's that bit done and as we've got uh, input hatch in my hand i don't need that so we now need a fluid input and a fluid output hatch just just check what i've got in the bag here have i got any left bronze item hatches input and output as you could come i could combine those two i've got a bronze fluid input hatch yeah 
Okay, let's have a look where this goes. Yeah, you can see it goes on any of these five places at the top here. So we're going to have to run up, up some water up the side of it. That's fine. So let's change this to an output hatch is where we want to put this out. And this can come out of any of these blocks. So the one I was going to put it on was here. And it's high pressure steam, so it's also going to be compressed. So maybe the input hatch will then use as a steel one. But because then we've got eight and eight goes down to one. Probably doesn't it doesn't go very fast, it's quite slow. So the next thing we need in this one, let's have a look. I want to check the pattern, didn't I? Oh, sorry. So it's a cross of five at the top. Oh, right. Okay, it's fairly straightforward, isn't it? So let's just build the cross down the bottom here. That's the bottom cross. And the next one wants to be two rows of titanium machine casings. We've got one of the pressurizers, so we only need one of those. And then we just need to put on top of this, <clears throat> we need an input hatch, don't I? Let's go and get an input hatch from the bag. I'm pretty sure I've got a steel fluid input hatch somewhere about. Fluid output hatch, steel item, fluid input hatch, there we go. Like this. So we'll put this input hatch so it's going to come up here. We'll get the water coming up from the current pump, which is actually over here, and bring it into this place. So we'll just simply put it um, let's put it down here, it's no big deal. And the rest of these four are this, these four casings that we've got left, so we'll put those down. Come down, I should be able to reach that from here anyway. So that's, as you saw, that just formed and the, the blocks have changed, so you can see it's now idle. And it's actually got recipes, so we can set recipes up. So the recipe that we want to do, last time we did this air intake one, so what we want is now the water to high pressure water which is this one and this requires a large amount of vu as you can see just to produce one of these recipes which 125 buckets it needs 76,000 eu to do that so let's click the plus button so that's now programmed into the pressurizer it doesn't tell you it's programmed it'd be nice if it did so all we now need to do is to replace this block here with a diesel generator. I've got a diesel generator over here. A spare one that, that I was using. Um, this one, yes. I, I've been using for the, um, oh, before I break this, I better take the fuel out of it. So make sure I've got a tank, how much do we need? So I need one bucket, one tank's worth of fuel. Um, don't think I've got enough tanks, actually. No, I haven't. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a bit of difficulty making an aluminium tank, let's see if we can. Because this one's still making the holes, but let's have a look tank. So we may be able to craft an ta aluminium tank, yes, but it's going to take a long time because we've got to process the bauxite. Um, I'll get that started and we'll just pinch a tank from somewhere else to start with. Here's one we can pinch, let's just do this one. So with the diesel generator, we'll also make sure there's nothing in this tank. This tank is obviously empty. Um, and this basic tank has got fuel in it, but it's got diesel in it, not... Um, so we should be able to just take this out of here with the tank. Like that. Nothing comes in great. So we can then break this happily enough. Like that. So we'll replace this for the diesel generator. We'll put the diesel generator down here. You'll see I've also got the cable I've also got the cable pre prepared for that. In fact it doesn't matter which direction you shake, you look at this thing, so let's shift click it onto the pipe, come along with a, a connector here. Ah yes. We need to set that this is the output face. So because it's under the ground, we'll just shift right click this face and then right shift right click this quadrant down here. That turns it down so we can now connect it in. Fantastic. I and mean, we can put this um, the block of dirt back in here. Like that. So this just needs some fuel, which we will give it some fuel. Um, how are we going to do the fuel? Let's do it on top. So what I need is just some fluid pipe or other. It doesn't make any difference which one. 
not just in my backpack, isn't it? So I just press that one. Fluid pipes, let's do some aluminium. I like the aluminium pipe. I like the stainless steel ones, actually. They're both pretty good. And then put this shift right click it. You have to shift right click it to get down. I'm going to have to get down one block. The one I just broke would probably be a good one. <laughs> actually, I'm a bit near. I should have been a bit further away. Okay, so we can put that down there. And that's now facing inwards. And then on top of this, we can put the tank that we just... Um, used from Ali booted aluminium on top of it and then there's going to be a tank that we can use at any time so let's just a bit awkward let's just stand up on here I've got pillars to stand on right click so we can then right click this and then right click to output it so that's now coming into the diesel generator as you can see that's charging up and so this should also get power oh, maybe I'm not connected it in Let's just connect this in and make sure that it's connected in. It's not connected in, but now it is. So this is now going to get 76k of power, like that. So we now need to drag some water across here. I want to check that the recipes are finished. As soon as the recipes are finished, um, it's still processing something or other. Oh, it's producing. No, it's not actually, it's producing aluminium. It's got 102 aluminium to do, which is going to take a quite a long time. Which machine are those running in? I think these are running in this electrolyzer. They are. In fact, it seems it's on the slow side. But max overclock is 32. All right, efficiency zero of zero. That's not so great, because that means it's never going to go faster than it's going at the moment. But I do have prepared in the, not in the bag, in the in the shulker box here, 16 basic upgrades. So let's put those basic upgrades onto here. You'll Before I put them on, let's have a quick look at this once more. Once more. You'll see it's here, efficiency is 0 of 0, and the max overclock is 32. So we then put these 16 right click those into here I'll have another look at it so now it will go up to 32 and max overclock is 64 so that means it should get up to double the speed in steps of 32 um, but it so it takes 32 iterations before it will actually get up to double speed which will help a little bit as you can see now it's gone up a little bit in fact in one of these machines it sounds that's a good idea to sort of almost max out with upgrades because it's, it'll make it go a lot faster for a lot of these recipes this one i've already upgraded to so it's not using 96 so there we are maybe more and put some more in there anyway those are going to run on for quite a long time the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to break this boiler and let everything finish off by itself I've actually I can remove this from here now anyway I don't need to have this tin cable running on here because we've also got um I think that was too aggressive I guess it was too aggressive I'm gonna remove the wrong one let's just shift click these off here and take one of these tin cables that I just shift clicked and put it into the one across here so that it will actually join up there we go. So that's that done. I don't need it going in here because we're in the we've actually got plenty of power in here already. You'll see it's got 96 k's worth of power. Actually, that's going down. Of course, it's going down because <laughs> I've taken away the um, <clears throat> right. I've taken away the tin cable, but that doesn't matter much. We're going to break this up now, and we'll do that. I'll tell you what. I'll break this up, and we're back in a second. So right, I moved this over here. As you can see, I'm not connected it up to the water and to the steam. Um, it's not working at the moment because it's got no fuel in it. So let's put some fuel in. I'm going to actually put a chest down here. And in this chest, we're going to put, it's going to be in both of these two particular uh, input hatches. So let's put the chest down here like this. And then we can put in here the charcoal. We've got some charcoal. I haven't set this to auto insert yet. Let's do that. And let's do that on this one as well shouldn't get all of them coming in here so that's now going this high pressure one is now heating up um, so in here we've got plenty of that charcoal so the charcoal this should be running I'm pretty sure it should be running so we should be getting some steam being produced yes as you can see it's going up a little bit um, 255 millibuckets but that should also be connecting back into here so things should start to be working again 
yes they are you can see the advanced uh, steam turbines are all working because they're getting power um, because they're getting the steam from in here that's that's all it is really let's just put this fill this hole in so we know what we're talking about so now next one is the is the large turbine and actually this is actually quite a hard one surprisingly enough it, it takes a bit of practice to build this one I say that because <laughs> I built it three times before I'm testing and trying to get it to work. So what we have to do is put the large steam turbine down at the. F so you want to have the front because it's a bit fussy about where things go. Let's dig up the rest of the glowstone here. So that is actually a four block long machine. We'll find that out as we highlight it like this. As you can see, it's got lots of machine pipe casings in the middle and outputting here at the end. Now, what's tricky about this is we need a hatch. and we, In fact, what we do need is I haven't got one. I've got a machine hole here. We need a, an HV output hatch. Let's get the, what we need for that one. If we look at the uses of the, uh, the turbo machine hole, we need an HV output hatch, which will be this one. MV energy output hatch. So I just need a piece of aluminium cable. We should have some of that in the backpack here. We've got 28, that's plenty. And then we can simply craft that. So where does it gone to? We want one hole. And it's output, so the cable goes on the right hand side. And as you see, we've got an MV HV energy output hatch here. So when we look at this, you'll see it actually goes at the other end of the machine here. So so that's the output face here. So that, right, that means we can simply build it up now. So we need 18 stainless steel pipe casings and 17 uh, stainless clean stainless steel machine casings. Quite a mouthful of those two. So what happens is we can simply put the the pipe casings behind it like this. And there's actually two rows of these, two by two by three by three, which gives you the 18 blocks that you require and then there's 17 clean machine casings and that's basically it's two times nine again minus one for the actual for the actual turbine block like that and that should now be formed I trust it is so what this will need then it's going to need some steam coming into it um, as it happens, we have steam coming from two sources. We're going to get steam coming from here, and we're going to get put that into here. So we need a fluid input hatch to do that. Um, in the backpack here, we should have some fluid input hatches. As a bronze item, I think that these will be steel fluid output hatches. Yes, they'll do fine, because we can turn this one into an input hatch like that. Then when you look at with where, where they can go on the input hatches, they can go anywhere here. So this is a, an input hatch and this is the input from, from this one, sorry, the output. So the output will come, we can just simply put it straight across like that. So we'll just break this one block here and put that, is that the right one? Yes. So we can simply join these two across. And then on the other side, we need to put in the HV, where, is, where it's gone to. HV energy output hatch here. So we need to break that like this. So we're going to get HV power coming out. With that HV power, what we can do is we can actually power both of these two machines, the, the electric glass furnace and the, the freezer, because these are multi-blocks. We can power those with HV cables directly, but all the other machines we can't. So, let's, so we have to transform that down. So we need a transformer. I don't think I built one yet, do I? So for a transform, what we need is a another turbo machine frame, which we've got here. We've got two left. That's why I'm making some more, because we, we need some more. Um, and a transformer recipe. Now, there is an interesting feature. Let's have a look. I'll get it. I'm oh, sorry, wrong place. Let's get it to my bag. So when you're doing from uh, low to high, it always needs, I think it's always four of the one you want. Let's have a look at the uses of the turbo machine hole. 
So what we want to do is we want to make the transformers. So the one we want to do is we want to have high voltage to medium voltage. So I need four electron cable and one aluminium. Okay. So let's I've got the wrong way around to get the atom. Let's just get out the the, the aluminium cable in here. So we need no sorry, electron cable. We'll need yeah five will be fine. Only five. Yeah, five would be fine, yes. So now we can simply build this up. Now, if you just remember the recipe we just saw, let's just have a look at it again, because it's weird. So the uses of this, there's two recipes. So the one we want to do is this one, because we want it to go from high voltage to medium voltage. So it is an arrow with the um, to the left. So let's build this one uh, and assemble it up. So put it down here. Oops. So that goes, oh, I could have done that without doing that, in the middle, doesn't it? One aluminium here, and then that will actually make a, an energy hatch. Like this, and this will make a transformer. But if you notice this, it says medium to high voltage. And the one we wanted to do was high voltage to medium. And it doesn't matter which way around to do it. If I put these over here like this, I'm still going to get a medium to high voltage. So what we have to do, let's beam fix this, by the way. Let's take this out of here and then put this back into the crafting table and then we get a high high voltage to medium voltage transformer. There. So I'll quickly put this down and, and then we'll have a quick sleep and I'll do the next part of this like this. I'm too near. Okay, so now with all of these high voltage transformers and things like that, I'm going to go underground here and drag the cables because I I don't like the cables being on the top. So we'll just um, dig my way down here like that. Um, we should be able to go down at least. Oh, I think I've already got piping set up for that. So we'll go down here a bit like that. So we should be able to come out here with some cables. Yeah, good. And then we'll take those cables up and join into the other bits and pieces. So I'll do that now off camera. But first of all, we need to make sure this has got the right face coming out because we we're going to come out of here with low voltage, uh, medium voltage cable. I probably should be able to get out of it, shouldn't I? So what the only other thing we've got to do now is to take the output of here and, and put it into here. So we need just that will require an, an electron cable. No, it actually will require an annealed cable, won't it? Because that's what we've got. No, it only require this is high voltage. I've forgotten. Hold on a second. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look for the high voltage ones. So I need a high voltage. Recipe. So we need the uh, uh, high voltage output hatch. So it is simply aluminium cable. So that allows you to transfer this out at this rate. And this to actually will produce if I'm not mistaken, it will produce more power than that. Um, let's go and check. I think we need to do the next layer up. Does it not tell me in here? It probably tells you in the book, so let's get the book out. In fact, I think the book is in the is in the bag here, in the chulker box. It is indeed good. So we can simply, hopefully we can shift right click on here. Indeed we can. So we need the large steam turbine. So this, oh, it will actually generate up to 4096. That's good. Don't need to worry about it in that case. So we just need to put down an aluminium cable here like this. And then connect that in. So this will now have some power as soon as we get some fuel into this. So it's night time, I'll be back in a second. Well, I've been doing a little bit between, well, it was night time. I, I basically run the pipes through. So I want to connect this one into here, if it will. Now that's a flu oh, wrong side. Um, here, so that's now going to put water into here. So we've got water coming into the pressurizer. Uh, the pressurizer should 
is now running as you can see the diesel generator is running um, and it's pressurizing some water as you can see oops try again like that and have a look at it with something else so you can see this is actually running now it's got uh, an efficiency of up to 32 so the recipe itself is which means it's going to get twice as fast and it produces 125 millibuckets per uh, cycle which means it's going to take quite a long time for, to get power, uh, to get any water out of here at all, uh, any high pressure water out of here at all. You can see this is, at the moment, it's empty. And the only thing that can come out of here at the moment is high pressure steam, uh, high pressure water. So that should be, it should run. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. It does take quite a long time. So we've now got 90, well, 98%. So now we've done our first run. So now it'll have a little bit of, as you can see here, some high pressure water has gone into the um, into the high pressure steam boiler. So that will then produce high pressure steam and that should come out here. We should see uh, some high pressure steam. Oh, yes, we are, because I, <laughs> I run it underneath here. So we've got one block coming into here. So now this has now got 2K or 4K in the bronze input hatch. And this is the, uh, I don't think it needs any power or does it need power and the heat exchange probably does need power thinking about it um, status is idle oh, yes it says eu so you know that in that case it definitely needs power and i haven't given it any oh dear uh, i'm running out of time a bit for this particular episode but that's so it is i've got power coming around about here so i'll just drag some power in and i'll be back in a second So the only place the, M the hatch can go, or energy hatch can go in the pressurizer is this one place. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to put it on the bottom as well, but I, you can't. Oops, wrong one. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, MV energy hatch. Why did it not? I did not ch I changed shape. We should be able to connect it in now. Let's just put this cable down there and we should be able to get underneath it. If we can't, we have to go and be sneaky. Let's just go down one block here. Let's put what we've got in here, dirt, that'll be fine. And then we should be able to go, oh, it looks a bit, still a bit on the high side. Let's just go down one block. I don't know how I'm going to do this actually. Um, tell you what, we'll break this one. And then we go down here one block. Oh. Yes, I can do it from this angle. That was hard, <laughs> surprising, but there we are. Let's just put this, connect this in. Great. So now we should build this back up again. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um, pressure out. Heat proof blocks, where have they gone to? So this is now formed, as you can see, and it should now have some power, which it has. So it should now be able to depressurize steam when it gets sign. High pressure steam has got 4k and we haven't got in here there should be something coming out um, so we've got high pressure steam coming in do i have to select a recipe just try selecting the recipe on this one because we want to do output steam so look at recipes so we've got four pages of this and these look like um heavy water stuff so it looks like to me that it's going to probably be No. Nope. High pressure water. Now we want we've got and steam will produce water. We don't want that one. I don't think we've got high pressure steam and water will produce high pressure water. Okay, I think that's not what we want. I'm a bit confused how to use this machine, let's be honest. <laughs> so maybe I need to put water in here as well. Because we've got high pressure steam coming in here. And it should then come out of here. It's, it's obviously too expensive to use by itself. Let's have a look. Let's try that again. Recipes. So uh, the high pressure, that's water. That's high pressure water plus heavy steam. We know it's not relevant. High pressure steam, heavy water. High pressure steam, high pre heavy pressure water. Okay. Da -da -da -da. High pressure steam and water will produce high pressure water and steam. That's the recipe we want. So let's click this in. So I need two inputs for this. Well, I am sorry, my 
my time is really running on in particular this particular episode but I'm gonna finish it off so let's just bear with me uh, we now need some another input hatch fluid input hatch item hatches steel machine casings da 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 I don't think I have any I'll have to make another one steel machine casing do I really not have a another input fluid input hatch I don't look to machine hole it doesn't oh yes I have that's an output hatch that'll do fine well actually we don't we need do need to make another one so let's make quickly make another one I do have a recipe set up for this in this bit in the um applied energistic side of things over here so let's just do the steel machine casing but it's actually a tank isn't it I want so we need to do the tank Oh, I've already got two steel tents, fantastic. So we can then put those two together. Steel machine casing. So that's the input hatch, great. So now we need to input hatch, input water and uh, output steam. And heavy water, and high pressure water. The high pressure water will then go back into, back into this boiler. Um, into this yeah into the boiler right i'll do that and be back in a second right i'm finished <laughs> i think so this is now running the heat exchanger as you can see so that's producing water and it's also producing s steam so the steam is coming out of here it's not, unfortunately it's the wrong place really but it's coming out of here and then i'm bringing it across and it's going into the um connecting up to these pipes here and then it's coming into the, the turbine so the large turbine is getting steam and it's running fine as you can see it's full full of power um so it's taking it as an input this high pressure water so the high pressure water is then getting converted into steam and it's also taking water and it will produce high pressure water coming out again which will come out here um as you can see, it probably would have been better if I could have moved these things around, but it's difficult. So this is high pressure water coming out and it's being fed back again into here. I've moved this down one block so you can see it. And I've set the priority on on this these pipes to be higher. So it's going to take this, um, the high pressure water out at the faster as you can see it's got 10 so it's going to take it out of here before it's going to take it out of anywhere else uh, and we'll probably do the same again for steam which i think i might have already done so this is the high priority one so any of the the standard boiler here will also produce steam and it, as you can see it's full uh, and will actually also go out but it'll have a lower priority so it should use the, the part of the steam from the pressure from the um heat exchanger first Let's have a quick fly up and have a look at this before we call it a day because it's been a very big build this one and has taken a considerably more time than I would have liked it to. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the pressurizer to the power. Uh, so it's going to use, so rather than use diesel first, it'll use the, the power from the, from the turbine first. And we'll do that next episode. Because uh, as we I've also connected these cables across, so everything should be working. And any recipes which have oh, they've done already, they've been completed. Fantastic. Well, that's it for this episode. I'm sorry it's a bit long. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.